Hi guys, I hope you are all doing well. Let's see today's question. So today's question, we are taking this up from the topic of differentiation. And if I talk about the question which is given to us here from this topic, the question tells us that if a differentiable function f which belongs to all real numbers except 0 belongs to r and the expression given to us is 3 times the function plus 2 times the f of 1 over x is equals to 1 over x minus 10. Then the question is further asking us to figure out the value of mod of f of 3 plus f dash of 1 over 4. So we need to figure out the answer for this question which is asked to us. And if I talk about the answer choices, the options given to us are 13, 29 over 5. The third option that we have been given here is 33 over 5. And the fourth option that we have been given here is 7. So basically we need to figure out what is the correct answer for the question asked out of these four options. So let's see the solution for this question. Before starting off with the solution, I would first like to tell you that please do subscribe to my channel and support the channel as well because it takes lots of efforts in making these videos for you on everyday basis and it is free for you and also motivates me to put up better content and try to make the solutions as easy as possible for you to understand them in a better way. Let's see. So if I try to see the solution for this question, I know already a function that's given to me three times f of x plus two times f of one over x, which is equals to one over x minus 10. So if I have this function given to me further, if I try to solve this idea, instead of x everywhere, I'll just substitute that as one over x. So that gives me 3 times f of 1 over x. So what we are doing here is instead of x, I am putting 1 over x. So if I put that, I get 3 times f of 1 over x plus 2 times f of 1 over 1 over x is equals to 1 over 1 over x minus 10. So that basically makes this equation 3 times f of 1 over x, 2 times f of x, which is equals to 1 over 1 over x, which is x minus 10. So you have this, this is your first equation, you have this second equation. Now if I add the two equations that I have, before adding the two equations, let's uh, do some substitutions. So let's put, let's say f of x is a and f of 1 over x is b. So from here, my equations will turn out to become 3a plus 2b is equals to 1 over x minus 10. So that is basically as it is. And this becomes 3b plus 2a is equals to x minus 10. So I have these two equations with me. Let's say equation 3 and equation. Now if I add these two equations, let's see what I get. So adding 3 and 4. That further gives me 3a plus 2a, 5a. 3b plus 2b, 5b, it's equals to 1 over x plus x minus 20. So this gives you 5 common, a plus b equals 1 over x plus x minus 20. And that gives me a plus b is equals to 1 over 5, 1 over x plus x minus 20. So you get this equation, let's say this is equation 5. Now, once I get this equation, I will subtract 3 and 4. So, if I subtract 3 and 4, so taking the difference, so subtracting 4 from 3. So, if I subtract this, I have subtraction here. So, if I subtract here, all the signs changes. So, 2b and minus 3b and 3a minus 2a. So, 3a minus 2a is a minus. 2b minus 3b is minus b is equals to 1 over x minus x and minus 10 and plus 10 gets cancelled. 
So from here, I get a minus b, which is 1 over x minus x. Let's say this is equation 6. So I have equation 5 and 6 with me. If I add both of them, so let's add both of them. So I get adding 5 and 6. Once I add both of them, a plus b plus a minus b. So it basically cancels out b and you get 2a is equals to this entire thing. So 1 over 5x plus x over 5 minus 20 divided by 4, 20 divided by 5, which is 4. And adding this, so plus 1 over x and minus x. So you have all of this. So a basically becomes half of this. If I solve it, 1 over 5x plus 1 over x. So it basically makes it x plus 5x, or let's keep it as it is, first of all, plus x over 5 minus x minus 1. So you get from here half x plus 5x, 6x over 5x squared. So x and x gets cancelled plus x over 5 minus x. So 1 over 5 minus 1, which is 1 minus 5 minus 4 divided by 5. So you get minus 4x divided by 5 minus 4. So from here you get a is equals to half 6 over 5x minus 4x over 5 minus 4. So from here you get a and a was nothing but f of x. So you get f of x from here. Now once I have f of x, let's find out what the question is asking for. So the question is asking for to find the value of f of 3 and f dash of 1 over 4. So first let's find f of 3. If I want to find f of 3 instead of x everywhere, I'll put 3. So it becomes 6 over 15 minus 4 into 3, 12 over 5 minus 4. So this, if I solve it further, gives me half. 6 over 15, if I try to cancel out, gives you 3 times 2, 3 times 5. So 2 over 5 minus 12 over 5, which is basically 2 minus 12, minus 10 over 5, minus 2. So that gives you half minus 2 minus 4, which is minus 6. So minus 6 divided by 2, which is minus. So you get f of 3. Now let's find f dash of x. So if I find the derivative, you get half 6 over 5 as it is and derivative of 1 over x, which is basically minus 1 over x. And further you get minus 4 over 5. Derivative of x is 1 minus derivative of 4, which is basically 0. So you get this. So you get basically 2 times 6, basically 3 over 5 and x squared. But this 2, if you see, it's also multiplied with this. So 2 ones and 2 also, I can cancel it with 2. So you get minus 2 over 5. And if I want to figure out f dash of 1 over 4 instead of x, I'll put 1 over 4. So that gives you minus 3 over 5, 1 over 4 squared, which is 1 over 16, minus 2 over 5. So that gives you minus 48 divided by 5 minus 2 divided by 5 which is basically minus 10. So I get that in the expression if I put it minus 3 minus 10 mod of that basically becomes 13 and that matches with option A. So A becomes the correct answer for the question that is given to us here. I hope you have understood how to solve this type of questions. I'll see you again tomorrow with some other question from some other topic. And we are going to continue our series of questions on JEE mains. So stay tuned for more videos to roll out. Also, if you are enjoying these videos that we are doing on everyday basis, please do like the videos and do subscribe to my channel. And share this channel with your friends also who are involved in the preparation of questions on JEE. So they can also take the benefit from these questions which we are solving on everyday basis. Thank you.